Juliana Sabonis, a PhD candidate at the Royal College of Art in London, aimed to design a method of euthanasia that would take lives with elegance and euphoria. A bonus was inspired by a man named John Allen, who stated that the ultimate roller coaster is one that sends out 24 people and they all come back dead. He created a model of the coaster which would start by taking passengers up a steep raise to the 510 meter or 1670 foot top. This would take two minutes, which your bonus felt was time enough for the passengers to have one final thought on if this was really something they wished to proceed with. Upon reaching the top, the coaster would stop and allow anyone that wished to exit the chance to do so. The coaster would then proceed down a 500 meter or 1600 foot drop, reaching speeds of 360 kilometers per hour or 220 miles per hour. The track would then flatten out before the 24 passengers were sent through seven loops, with each consecutive loop getting smaller and smaller. By going through smaller loops, the train would not lose its velocity and maintain a consistent 10G to passengers, a lethal amount. With one final turn, the train would return to the station so that the 24 corpses could be removed and replaced with 24 more passengers. So how does the coaster kill? The euthanasia coaster kills through cerebral hypoxia, or insufficient supply of oxygen to the brain. Riders would suffer through a grey up, followed by tunnel vision. Eventually, passengers would suffer a blackout and ultimately G-lock, which is a G-force induced loss of consciousness. The entire ride would take 3 minutes and 20 seconds to complete a circuit. The euthanasia coaster was never built, and probably will never be built. However, it serves as an interesting look at the science of the human body, an impressive potential method for euthanasia.